uh, putting the glasses on again. Tech Arcus. Tech Arcus Solutions. Sunil, good morning. Uh, good morning, Mike. God, I hate getting old. Tell us about Tech Arcus Solutions and what you do. Yeah. First of all, thank you very much, Mike, and thanks, Stephen, have, uh, for having me here. So at Tech Arcus, we are a technology company with a specialization in quality engineering. So what that means is like we work with our clients and help them take their solutions and software to the market which will wow their customers and we help them roll it out faster, cheaper and better. You are the uh, managing partner. How long has the company been around? It's been about two years. And how do you, let's kind of get a little bit more specific as far as putting our arms around that. How do you help your clients achieve their goals? So it's very, very simple. You know, it's like quality and convenience drives customer success. And behind that, you know, the way the software and the products are being developed today is totally changing. So every earlier, day, every day it's changing. And you know, how often you come across situations where you think, why did they build it? Did they not test it? And you know, it's full of bugs. And that's kind of like a common experience. So that's where our role comes in to make sure that quality is embedded in the process when the software and the products are built and it is not an afterthought. So that's the role that we play and we are deeply embedded with our clients as their software and products are built. And we do it with the use of technology. We are a very, very innovative company. And what we have done, you know, things like when those software and products are built, we actually like go ahead and like automate them while they are being built from a testing perspective. So when they are rolled out, you know, all the quality is in place, there are no bugs going out. And through the automation mechanism, it costs them much, much less and the speed to market increases a lot. So if, um, if there's a business owner listening who's involved in technology and software, if it were me, I'd be, I'm completely lost to some extent. You've mentioned software, but then you also mentioned technology. What's the, what's the spectrum of the type of technological products apart from software that Tech Arcus can get involved in and help do this quality engineering? Good question, Stephen. So today, you know, there is no business who does not have an online presence. And most of them also have the mobility presence, whether it is their solution in the form of the mobile apps and all. And think about the client side. At the end of the day, you or I or anybody can have any mobile device. It could be your phone, it could be your iPad, it could be any device. And those businesses can't control what their end customer will use. But the fact is that whatever is their online presence is supposed to work on any device and the clients want anything, anytime, you know, whatever they like. So if your products and solutions are not tested, right, for whatever the end client will use in terms of their devices or iPads, it could be a bad customer experience and those customers will not come back. So that's where we come in and we have built our own labs where we have a library of about 300 real devices. So we would test those products and solutions on those devices which basically means whatever your customer situation is, it is always going to work. So it's almost like anything that will be used by the consumer on a, on a piece of technology, you will help test that on all these different types of technologies to see, ooh, hey, it's got a problem on this particular Samsung phone. Ooh, it's got a problem over here on this version of the iPad. That, that's kind of what you are helping people do. That's absolutely correct. That's Perfect. absolutely correct. Are there other companies that do what your company does? Yes, you know, like any other businesses, there are always, you know, competition in place. But the main thing here is that, you know, like who's at the forefront of the technology? And, you know, we are very, very proud of the innovation that we use. And I'll give you a very specific example. You know, it's like we have used robots to do testing as well. Right. So in a real life situation, you know, it's like everybody has a credit card and you have a credit card with a chip nowadays. So when you go to buy anything, you have to insert the card. Right. And some right. people have the mobile pay that you would just basically put your wallet right to where the point of sale terminal is and your transaction is done. So in a real life situation, when you think about it, there is a credit card company who gave you the card, there is a bank who's banking it, then you go to the retailer, and then there are people in between who are supposed to process that transaction and trillions of dollars flow on it. So what we did is like we used the robots and actually did the whole automation of all that front end where you know all the robots would pick up the card, they would insert the card, they would punch in the keys, they would also put your mobile phone on the machine and exactly like, you know, like automate the whole process end to end. So that's an example of the innovation. And, you know, these are some of the unique things that we do. You know, sometimes when we talk to technology companies, Mike, we ask, hey, what's ahead? What's ahead? He's already given us that. They're using robots, <laughs> man. Come on. Cool. Tell, tell us about some of your favorite projects that you've worked on. 
Actually, to be honest with you, like the one that I just explained to you was my favorite yeah. prize. I, I, I was going to say, I think you already answered that question. Go ahead. Well, okay, then give us another example. Is there any other examples of some cool Yes, projects? absolutely there are. You know, it's like uh, we came across a situation, you know, it's like where somebody's business was totally online, 100% online. You know, it's like there were no stores, nothing. And oftentimes, you know, it's like what was happening is their their application, you know, was on the phones and it had to like you know work in all the scenarios as i explained before so what we realized that in the real life situation a lot of the people you know like their phones are not fully charged batteries are half and a lot of the time you know like it's raining they like to place you know orders while they are driving and all whether it is a pizza or anything so we had to test those situations with a real life condition that what if it is raining outside you know what if it is my battery is you know half or what if it is i am a guy you know like who plays a lot of games so you know it's like my phone is consuming a lot of that you know processing power b- b- with all those apps so that was another favorite project that we had to do where we had to simulate those real life conditions man that was heck of an experience so uh, sometimes when we have business owners we'll we'll ask a question we kind of know ahead of time who and we'll say hey who are you trying to talk to when you're when you're making new clients when you're reaching out to new companies i have no idea who you would talk to do you t- do you guys uh, get approached or are you trying to approach the ceo or are you trying to approach the r d are you trying to approach the 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 actual developers of software and so, i mean who, where do you find your next client actually it's a mix of all see normally you know it's like we like to talk to the cios and the ctos right where you know it's like we can help them in their vision of what you know new products that they want to launch for their company and that's where we play an integral role in t- because quality is important at the end of the day quality and, and convenience drives customer success and a lot of these uh, a lot of the companies especially if they're smaller companies bring in one of their first couple apps or software to market they don't necessarily they definitely don't have the laboratory you do that that's got to be one of the I would say majority of them don't have it yeah. because all they would do is like they would just pick up their phone or you know like their colleague's phone yeah. and press few keys and I'm done right right but when works the, on my iPhone <laughs> and his Samsung let's go to market yeah. and uh, to your previous question the other people that we love to work with you know are the actual product owners and the marketing people because they are the ones closest to the client and they hear all those complaints and once they understand we can add that value they become big influencing factors inside their organizations uh, so let me ask this. We're talking with uh, Sunil Sagal with uh, Tech Arcus Solutions here on Gwinnett Business Radio. Uh, so you, for, for some folks, you know, hey, can you see find the problem for us? And so you do all the testing, but you don't just find the problem. You help them solve the problem as well? Yes, absolutely. Because I wasn't sure if you're like that commercial we see on TV. Uh, we need a security <laughs> officer. Well, I'm just a security monitor to let right. you know the bank is being robbed. <laughs> oh, the bank is being robbed. So you actually have the solutions as well. Absolutely. I wanted to make sure we got that across. Absolutely. Sure that Absolutely. Correct. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, this is an integrated function which exists with their teams as well. So think of this like a, you know, co-located teams, co-existing teams, and absolutely fixing the problem as part of it. All right. A, a partner. For those that would like to find out more, maybe look into your services, need your services. Uh, does, it just starts with a conversation when you finally realize, you know, that someone wants to talk to you. What, what's that first conversation kind of sound like? So from the first conversation, normally, you know, it's like they like to kick the tires that can we walk the talk. Yes. And our processes are very, very long, you know, like sales cycle, like sometimes they go for one year. So there would be a lot of conversations from their side to understand how deep we are, you know, kick the tires. And then oftentimes they would ask us for the proof of concepts as well. So the process, you know, like takes about a couple of months. I well, say. I was going to say it, it's probably every single client is is almost different. I, I mean, like you said, your sales cycle is very unique every single time. And and then also you're not giving it away. Hey, let, let us show you how we can test your software. I guess you can kind of show some results of other things in the past, but th- that's got to be real unique during your sales cycle. Yes. Those case studies and those references make a big, big difference. And, you know, we actually have to walk the talk to show it to them. And that's when they will get comfort and the confidence in us. Yeah. All right, Sunil, for those that would like to find out more, where can they get more information about your company? So just go on www.techarchis.com, tech like technology, T-E-C-H-A-R-C-I-S.com. And I'll give you my phone number as well. You know, it's like 678-361-4357. And the email is sunil.sigal at techarchis.com. And I would think, even if I'm outside in the rain with 30% power on my phone your your website would still come up on my phone yes it should yeah (laughs) (laughs) it it better Sunil thank you very much thanks for having me my 